On this day in Southern labor history, we remember the 1892 New Orleans General Strike. The New Orleans General Strike shook the foundations of racial capitalism, uniting black and white workers in a militant show of solidarity against exploitation as workers demanded a 10-hour workday and better working conditions. The General Strike was driven by a triple alliance, three racially integrated labor unions comprised of the Teamsters, Packers, and Scalesmen. Meanwhile, New Orleans corporations, government, and media organized in opposition and attempted to break the workers' solidarity with racist propaganda and an armed militia. Local newspapers attempted to drive a wedge between black and white workers by demonizing black workers with allegations of sexual assault and claiming black workers wanted to take over the city. Yet, New Orleans workers held fast, refusing to let anything break their strike. In total, the strike saw over 30,000 union members, both black and white, from a variety of industries organized together for better working conditions. Their collective action brought New Orleans to its knees in 1892 and brought the bosses to the bargaining table with both black and white union leaders. In the end, the workers' militancy and solidarity won a 10-hour workday and overtime pay. The New Orleans General Strike of 1892 demonstrates how racism is not simply a personal prejudice, but is instrumental to the economic exploitation of workers of all races. Organizing across racial divides and industries gives workers the power to challenge systems that seek to keep us divided.